Hey fashionistas, welcome back to my channel. This is Joy from Manifest Designs. Have you seen or known about Ashoke fabric? Well, in this video, we are going to be talking about Ashoke fabric you should explore. We are going to be talking about the origin, the history, types, designs, as well as latest and trendy Ashoke styles that, and patterns you should know. So if you want to know more about this, sit tight and let's dive into the video. Talking about the origin and history of Ashoke fabric, Ashoke pronounced Ashoke is a pattern cloth hand woven by the Yoruba people of Southwest Nigeria. Literally, the word Ashoke means top cloth or high cloth or clothing for prestige, prestigious cloth. It is the ceremonial clothing worn on special occasions during special such as um, chieftaincy ceremonies, parties, weddings. Um, christening, christening or naming ceremony, traditional festivals and other important occasions. Ashoke is also the cloth for royalty worn by the Obas, the kings. One of our Yoruba readers, Tolu Lope, was kind enough to let us know that the Yoruba word Ashoke was derived from the early name of this fabric, Asho Iluoke, which when translated meant clothing from the highland. The Yoruba word OK in the word Asho OK refers to highland and not social status. That's because the fabric was sourced from the highland part of Yoruba land. Precisely, the source was Isheyi in Oyo state of Nigeria. Today, the meaning of Asho OK has become modified to also mean top class or premium cloth or clothing for prestige. Incidentally, the Yoruba word OK also means top, aside from being a clothing attire. Ashoke was worn as a symbol or to showcase prestige and wealth. So, if you saw someone wearing Ashoke, you immediately knew they were a royal or very important personality. So, let's talk about how Ashoke cloth weaving industry began. Back in the days, the Yoruba people had very big cotton farms. Also, processing of cotton to cloth was a source of livelihood for most cotton farming families who were self-contained mini textile industries. At the time, almost every family member was involved in the production line. The women and children spun the harvested cotton into trade and also dyed the trade into various colors. Some men and women were skilled in the craft of weaving the trade into Ashoke clothes. The Ashoke industry and demand have since grown so big that it's no longer dependent on cotton produced within small families. Today, the production of Ashoke has significantly changed. Big cotton farms have disappeared along with local cotton spinners and trade dyers. These days, Ashoke weavers now source for imported ready-made trades that they use to weave the Ashoke. Also, they are no longer confined to weaving Ashoke cloth with cotton. They now use other types of trades including silk, rayon, shiny metallic lurex from Japan. Back in the days, the traditional weavers made Ashoke in three main colors. The blue called Etu, crimson red called Alari, and brown called Cheyenne at that time. The, the Ashoke designs were mainly stripes, blue stripes or red stripes or brown stripes. Over years, everything about the Ashoke fabric, designs, patterns and colors has evolved into creating some of the most elegant and prestigious textile in the world. While such changes added to the cost of finished modern Ashoke, it also increased its appeal to the international market. Today, Ashoke is now worn beyond the borders, the borders of Yoruba state in and outside the, um, Nigeria. So this development indeed not, not wipe out the demand and weaving. I mean, this development in did not wipe out the demand and weaving of Ashoke in its old original stripe designs and colors. They are still beautiful and not out of trend. You can still find the classic traditional Ashoke sold in Nigeria. Now, talking about the production of Ashoke, in case if you are wondering on how Ashoke is produced, Ashoke cloth is woven on a narrow loom. The end product is a 40-foot strip of fabric. 
Traditionally, Ashok is sold in stripes of narrow cloth, just the way they are produced. The buyer would then find a tailor to join the pieces together in order to make a full cloth. The process of making it is painstaking. The trade used to weave the material is made out of cotton. The cotton is planted during the rainy season, which falls in between June and July. By November and as late as January, the cotton is ready to be harvested. The cotton is then spun to separate cotton seed from wool and a spindler, known in Yoruba as Orun, is used to achieve this. The weaver sprays the wool and processes it through the loom. As the spindler turns repeatedly, the cutting thins and this is done until all the wood has been spun. The cutting is then cleaned and sorted which is done manually and can be very time consuming. So once the cutting is purified, the signature designs and patterns characteristic of Ashoke are ready to be created. This is the process where designs and patterns are made on the Ashoke while the cloth is being woven. During the pattern process, Cotton rails are hung upon the hangers on the sides of the metallic pegs on the ground. After everything has been prepared, the weaving can begin. The weaving, quite possibly the most important part of the process, is a delicate chore. The weaver deftly process, presses down on the pedals of the orun and uses their hands to weave the material to create the signature designs in a variety of colors. The entire process of creating Ashoke is a beautiful sight and seeing artisans um, who have spent long perfecting their craft make it so effortlessly in heart warming. Watching plain cotton transform into the perfectly woven trade is a testament to the craftsmanship we are capable of in Africa. Now moving over to Ashoke styles for women, men as well as couples and as uh, in traditional wedding. The Ashoke styles for women is traditionally a four-piece outfit consisting of a wrapper <coughs> called Iro, a blouse, buba, a shawl called Ipele or Iborum, and a hetai called Gele. Most women also use part of the Ashoke to sew a blouse or a top called Iro. The shawl is placed over the shoulder or tied around the waist. Ashoke style for traditional wedding is very, very, you know, beautiful as well. For a bride at a traditional wedding includes a beautiful beaded necklace and a fashion hand fan that complements and matches her Ashoke. Usually the hand fan is bought together with the Ashoke wedding attire. Both accessories add more glamour to the bridal Ashoke. The groom's Ashoke and a cap filler color combination and design is usually coordinated with that of the bride as you can see you see in the, in the picture coming forward look at how glamorous the pictures look and how beautiful these women actually look you don't need to ask where these ladies are coming from when you see them yes they are unique and beautifully adored with shoke which is shortening for asho iluoke what does this mean it simply means clothes from a countryside, as I said earlier on. So let's uh, move on to the what the pieces are made up of for the women. For the women, we have pieces made up of the gele, a hair tie, pele, a shawl that goes around the waist or over the shoulder, a balloon, a scarf, a, raw, a large wrapper tied like a wrap around skate, buba, a loose fit blouse, one on top. While for the men, the complete outfit for the men include um, shokoto, the loose fit trousers, abada, a large robe worn over the buba, fila, a soft cap, and the buba, a loose um, fit top shirt. However, Ashoke has been modified to come in various designs and colors. You are not limited to the above um, the types of Ashoke. You can even customize your design and color according to your taste. Are you thinking of looking different in an event? There are choices to be made from Ashoke. It is no longer limited to Yoruba people. You can wear it and make the difference. Some designers have gone the extra miles to ensure that they produce some stunning designs you cannot resist. This is the reason why Ashoke is always sharing boldly on different fashion magazines and online. Now, what do you think of Ashoke? Is it that outfit that will make you look amazingly great? Ashoke is probably Africa. You will surely love it when you get a piece of it. 
Okay, fashionistas, if you have really watched up to this very part, I want to really appreciate your support. I thank you for watching. If you are new to my channel, please don't forget to subscribe. And you are old for my old subscribers, wow, you guys are simply amazing. Thank you for always coming by to support me. And yes, I have a link in my description box below. You may check it out. The link will lead you to a full shop where you can get your beautiful statement earrings and accessories. Right? Everything at all, everything you need. Good, great stuff are in the shop. When you go around, just take your time, check out things for yourself. You get 10% from me when you use my code Manifi Designs. And yeah, that is just how beautiful they look. So, so amazing. So, thank you all for watching. And from here, I want to say bye and see you in my next video. Peace out.